Yawn. Hi, Sam and Bay. I'm Teacher Jenny, and I'm going to teach you today about Earth Day. So Earth Day is going to take place on Wednesday, April 22nd, 2020. And this is actually a special Earth Day because it's going to be the celebration of, it's going to be the 50th anniversary of Earth Day. So that means that it has been celebrated 49 times already. And this time on April 22nd will be the 50th time that we celebrate Earth Day. So if you want to know, the very first Earth Day was 1970. And you're probably wondering, well, how did we come up with Earth Day? Why do we celebrate Earth Day? Who thought of Earth Day? Those are all great questions. So I looked it up. So in 1970, Senator Nelson was a senator and he saw a massive oil spill which happened in the state of California. And because of that massive oil spill, it destroyed water, all the animals that were living in the water got oil on them and it made it so they died and he got very sad. And so he decided that people needed to learn about how to take care of the environment because obviously if they spilled oil, they weren't taking care of the environment very well. So on that day, he decided to teach about environment. So in 1970, the very first Earth Day, that's what he did. He gave a talk to as many people as would come and said, these are the things that we need to do to help keep our environment clean and safe. And because of that very first Earth Day, and my son is giving you a thumbs up, because of that, here, hold up the sign, three, it led to the creation of the Clean Air Act and also to the EPA. Now that, those are initials that stand for the Environmental Protection Agency. So because of the very first Earth Day, we started doing things to teach people in the United States about the environment in ways that we could be better about taking care of our environment. And I just thought this was super cool that this is the 50th anniversary this year. And also remember back in the fall, we did a big parade around Salmon Bay for climate change. And we got to hold up signs that we had made and we got to celebrate and tell people that climate change was important to us and that we wanted to change it. So now, this is one thing that you can do to help celebrate Earth Day. This is what my daughter Bree did and she's about your age. She drew a picture of the Earth. Is there anything that you want to tell them about your picture, Bree? No, but look, if you look, she used green and blue and blue can be the water, green can be land, but she drew a beautiful picture of the earth and look how clean her earth looks. So I think that all of you should take the time to draw a beautiful picture of earth and hang it in your window so that when people go by on walks in your neighborhood, they can see that you really care about the environment and that you want to celebrate Earth Day. Now, another thing that we're going to show you is we got this very cool poster from National Geographic. And it says, put your picture in Earth Day every day. And it says, Earth Day is a day to care for the planet. People think about how to protect Earth's air, land, and water. Here are some tips for how to help the planet every day. So here's some ideas, and I bet you guys probably have even better ideas than this. But let's think, what are some things that we can do at home to help save water? Well, we can take shorter showers. That means run in and run out as fast as you can. And I bet some of you probably wouldn't care if you didn't take a shower at all. Another thing that you can do is turn off the water while brushing your teeth. So we don't wanna let the water run. Even when we're washing our hands, we can get our hands wet. And then while we're soaping them up, we can turn the water off, soap up our hands, and then turn the water back on when we're ready to rinse them off. And then final thing that we can do is on a beautiful day like today, instead of putting our clothes in the dryer, we can then hang them outside to dry. And you should always make sure to turn off your lights. I'm always telling my kids to turn off their lights in the house. Now, you can see 
in our backyard. Avery, do you wanna pan out to see? We have a garden that we've been working on this week. And so in our garden, if you have a garden or an area close to your house, you could plant a tree, you could plant a butterfly garden, you could do compost your food to make soil, and you could protect the worms and bees because we need the worms and the bees. They're good for our garden and they can help us to grow really good food. And so here's a rem another thing. Remember in the fall when we got to go to the pumpkin patch and we got to try all that amazing good food that you all loved, all that fresh, all those fresh vegetables, you loved them. You told me how good they were. Well, that's what we're trying to do here at my house. And you could try to do that at your house too. Grow your own vegetables because they taste so much better if you grow them yourself and eat them. We got a thumbs up on that one too. Now, another thing, and I know we do this a lot in Ballard, all of us, when we're out and about, we walk. We try to walk everywhere. It's so nice that we live in a nice neighborhood where we can walk places. And lots of you also ride your bike and I've seen you ride your bike to school. We also don't litter. If you see litter, paper, or anything on the ground, please try and pick it up. And we also try to join cleanup days. We can't do that quite right now, but if in the future, whenever we have cleanup days at school or at a park, those are great ways to help the environment. Now, we've got our three R's that we're gonna talk about quickly. Reduce, reuse, recycle. Reduce, save our trees. Well, right now, we unfortunately, we can't go to the library because it's closed. Game trees. But you could borrow a book. There are all little libraries around in neighborhoods. You could borrow a book from one of those. You could use less plastic and use both sides of paper. That's something we can always do. Or if you need a paper, go to the recycling and grab one out to use. Reuse. Fix broken toys. Donate your old clothes. Bring reusable bags to the store and always use a reusable lunchbox and bottle. Those are things that we are really great about doing at Salmon Bay. And finally, recycle. We wanna recycle glass and cans, recycle plastic and paper. We are big on recycling. We have our recycle bin, we have our compost bin, and we have our trash bin. We want our trash bin to be the smallest of the three so that we can do all kinds of great things to save the environment. So, this is our science lesson this week, is just to remember that Earth Day is very important. We want to take care of the environment and the Earth. I am going to add a book onto the book list of Read Alouds. It's gonna be the Greta Thunberg book. And I read it to some of you already, but I will reread it again. And I am also gonna find some coloring sheets and I will get them sent out to you so you will have extra coloring sheets. But if you can hang them in your windows, and make your beautiful picture of the earth and hang it in the window, that will be some of the great ways that we can celebrate Earth Day. And I bet that you and your family can think of some other great things to do to celebrate the day too. Turn it off.